right, let's see. Divado. You should be setting out orbs, but that works. Orb. Oh, uh, you don't have to do that. Okay, alright. Alright, step one. Okay, let's go back to here. Okay, okay. Oh. Right, let's see here. So I can actually start from here. Get space. Now that you're over here, just, just put out an orb. <clears throat> Either the held orb or proximity orb. It doesn't matter which one. Just put one of those two out here. Because you have space. Just put out one of those orbs. Alright. You need to confirm that next time. That's fine. Retreat. Like, you can be aggressive. That's fine. But you have to... Yeah, like, I don't know why you did moon skill here. Why'd you do this moon skill? Like... Like just just put out an orb here. You don't have to do a moon skill because you just you just using you're wasting moon gauge, which you kind of need. So it's okay to like put out an orb here because even if she super jumps, she's gonna super jump into the orb. So like if you put out the held a orb here, if she super super jumps, you could just be like, okay, if you do charge MC, I'm just gonna let go of the orb. You're gonna die. But if you do moon skill laser and you spend meter, you just like wasted meter. You wasted resources for. For her, it's like okay, cool. You know, you don't you don't have um, meter. All right, all right, you got a hit. Left, right, that's okay, that's fine. Pressure still kind of beginner corner. Yeah, we got the corner stuff. Charge, pressy. Yeah, we got those. High pots. Yeah. Uh, can you set orb here? I'm trying to think. Yeah, you can. So here, if you don't have meter to do air laser, after this, you should do, instead of double jumping, land and do moon skill orb. So you do one BC, you hold a button and you do like a jump in. You see Taka do it all the time. Taka does that a bunch. Smash it. Oh, yeah, you don't have to go in here, by the way. When this happens and and she's that far, you don't have to go in. Like you either you either set an orb like in front of you, or you just like wait for her to move. So now she's out the corner. All right, back out the corner. Yeah, you're still chasing for some reason. Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. Same meter. Up, oh, drop combo. It's fine. Yeah. What? Okay, I see your problem. You're also not blocking it. The only reason this hits you is because you're not blocking. So you jump here, you jump again. You're not holding back because this shouldn't hit you if you're holding back. This sh you should not. This should not combo you. Yeah, if you're holding back, this doesn't combo you. So you need to like. You need you need to be. So if you jump here, you either swing at her or you just block. That's one of those two. But you don't even need to jump here. So if you're trying to like kill her. If you're like, oh, she has like one HP left, I'm gonna swing at her, right? Your your best bet is just to retreat full screen, or try to make space full screen and like put put orbs out, because if she ever tries a heat from full screen, you just do laser and once laser, she's dead. Um, there's no reason to be right here, and also you're just not blocking here. Like I don't know why you're not blocking. That's the only way this hits you. You're not blocking. Um. Bum, bum, double jump. Uh, uh. You could just block here. It's okay to block here. You don't have to moon drive because, well, I, I'm assuming what happens here is you lose this round. Because, like, almost never, nothing ever good comes from people moon driving here when nothing happens. You almost got your back dash caught. All right, you're trying to snipe a laser. Ah, uh, he did dash up low. If he did high instead, you would have died. So like you, you took a, you took an equally big risk doing that moon skill there like that. Like you could have just like retreated and got full screen and been okay. All right, what happens? All right, you got unlucky. You did jump B way too early and you got anti aired. It's fine. Jump out the corner. All right. I yell at everybody for this shit. Are you jumping out? Of, are you jumping up in the corner already? Jump out of the corner. So that's one jump, that's two jumps. Did you use your third jump already? Hey. 
One, two. You use another jump too when you got tagged, so yeah. You're also not blocking again, by the way. So you're just, it's like, if you're already committing to jumping out of the corner, you're jumping in the corner, jump out of the corner. Like you use one jump, you have another jump. Instead, you jump again backwards to the corner. It's like, get out of the corner. And then you get hit here, right? The jump it hits you, you... Okay, it gets combo. The jump it hits you, you get combo, that's fine. But yeah, get out of the corner. Don't don't use all your jumps to stay in the corner. That doesn't make sense. Uh, did you have Moon Gauge left? No, you didn't because you Moon Drive before, right? No, you had Moon Gauge. Can you hold for longer? You could have held for longer. Like if you. So this that's just another decision of like you didn't hold the shield long enough. But you can just block this. You just high block this. It's fine. Excalibur? They don't do Excalibur? That's always really close to how, how much it kills. That happens so much with the saber autocorrecting, yeah. Any extra startup? I don't think so, yeah. I don't think you have, like, once you're in the air, you can just, like, super jump. You didn't, yeah, you were probably trying to jump here, watch. That just hits you. And then you just get hit by this, so you might have been trying to jump and down backing. Come on. Jesus. Upset. That's fine. Uh, that's okay. Good. You killed the low shield. Charge by C. Ten meter. Upset. Go in. That's fine. You just have to learn how to option select that. You do two A two A D. That's okay. Mm, why are you being so close to her? Whatever, it's fine. It's okay. Backdash. Orb. No, do orb. Like you're just wasting your resource to try to, to. So like, the reason why I don't like this is because he's not doing anything. He's just down backing. Like he's just down backing and you're doing moon skills. So it's like you're hoping to hit him when you can save resources and do an orb and be like, okay, cool. You gotta you gotta play the minesweeper game. How are you gonna get through these orbs without getting hit? It's so much harder for them to deal with that than oh you use the moon skill? Cool, I'm in there. Especially after he did he did low shield randomly on it. Like now he's just in your shit. Hmm. Alright, you tried to throw a laser again. See, like that's what I'm saying. If this was orb, it probably trades. Like if you do held a orb and let go at the same time, this trades. Yeah, you're not blocking in the air. You're just trying to retreat, watch. One jump, two jumps. Why are you not holding back? Like, I don't care if you're like, oh, I'm gonna jump again, you just need to be holding back as well. Because it's combos here. There's no reason for jumping to hit you there if you're not pressing a button. That's fine. All right, you gotta clean hits. Do, you need to learn, uh, you need to learn slightly better combos, but that, that'll be later. You learn that later. Throw orb set. No? Okay. That, well, you still don't know the option select, so it's okay. You still need to... God. You did it again. Yeah, that, that's that's another thing. Why are, you why are you flying at Saber? So you know option select there, that's fine. Why are you flying at Saber? Just set up set up orbs. Like, she can't do anything. You set up orbs, you you do, like, B-laser. You don't do charge B-laser. Do normal B-laser and see what the response is. And then, yeah, yeah, she just gets the 5A like that. You feel like you couldn't block? Mm, it catch your double jump? Mm, maybe. I'd, I'd have to test that again. So, like, if you think your double jump got caught, then it's like, you should just be holding back. So if you jump one time, hold back and see, like, how they approach. Like, don't mash all your jumps immediately. But you should be holding back when you're in the air. Uh, what if they just jump, run up shield, shield the orb? You're fine. You can move. If they shield the orb, you're not stuck to the orb. Like, it's not like, um, it's not like your laser. If you were doing laser and they shield the laser, then it's like, oh shit, I can't move. But if you put on an orb, and you can move after the orb is set, who cares? Like, you're Alco, you have three jumps, two air dashes. Like, you just fucking fly out of there. Uh, yeah, why did you do a moon skill? I don't get that. 
So you do moon drive to be like, okay, I want to see what's going on. Nothing happens, right? So that's, I guess that's kind of okay. Nothing happens, so you you just chill. But the first thing you do is a moon skill. Like frame one, you do a moon skill, and they were doing two A. They were like, okay, you did a moon, you did moon drive. Let me see if you're doing a moon skill. Oh, look, you're doing a moon skill. Guess what I have? Dead. GG. Oh, you should be dead. Holy fuck. You did it again, by the way. You just you just did moon skill. You're just mashing ex. It's like. You could probably just do Moonskill orbs and just chill. Just put out some orbs and like let her approach you. Instead of hoping to hit her, you know? How did I hit? How did that hit? I guess. I, I guess. I, I don't know, because like... I don't want to go too hard on a lot of this, because like, you know, it's... A lot of this is like, you, you're <clears throat> still le learning Alco and like game system stuff. Cause like the biggest thing I always see is like is that. It's like you only do it, you do it three times. But I don't like this unless you see someone like throwing projectiles at you. This is there's no real reason to use this unless they're trying to charge, get their life back or something. There's no real reason to do this and to this unless you can confirm a hit. Cause you're just wasting your resources. Cause it's still the start of the match. So why are you doing that? Uh, there's something else. Combos or whatever. Combos you learn. Um. This is fine. Hit got got the hit. That's okay. Um, there was something else. I think it was when they got free and they got into the air. This, yeah. Why are you chasing? Like, if you have a if you have a sizable life lead, you should not be chasing like this. You should be like, oh, can I get back to mid screen for free? Orbs constantly put up orbs. Or can I can I protect myself with my orbs? Put shits up. There's no reason to like chase her. That's like, yeah, she can heat, but guess what? You have Moonskill laser hits like so fast, so it doesn't matter if they press heat. If they press heat and you have a bar, you just do Moonskill laser, EX laser, run up, and they don't get to keep their life life gain. <clears throat> uh, get another clean hit here. Oh, so here, again, you should be retreating. There's no reason to be directly beneath Saber. Because if she does dive, she gets over here. But if you don't punish it, she just like gets she puts you in the corner for free. If she does charge MC and you're like, oh, I'm gonna do like I'm gonna wait for the, it to whiff and I'm gonna punish the landing recovery. If you're wrong, you get hit by charge MC and she just plays the game again. So here you should be like, okay, instead of jumping to meet her, you just backdash. You just backdash like one, two, three, or you air backdash twice, put out orb, put out more orbs, and be like, alright, cool, play the game. Like, yeah, when you got hit there, you were probably trying to jump again. So it might have caught your jump startup, but like you don't need to use all your jumps immediately. Like you have you have your movement doesn't need to be used all at once right away. You can save parts of your movement by by that. I mean, when you jump the first time, you don't need to use your air dash immediately. You don't need to use your double jump immediately. You can wait as long as you're still in the air and you can jump. You can full jump once, do nothing, land and be like, all right, cool. Nothing happened. I'm fine. Alright, you get hit by this combo. Oh, it's this. Because you do moon drive, moon skill laser, you do it again. And then you just do like half screen moon skill. And I'm like, okay. Like, like yeah, sometimes, like, so I do get the fact that like it worked, but it's not supposed to be the fact that it worked. It's supposed to be the fact that like there's nothing there for you to like mash a moon skill on in a block string. He's not with punishing anything. You're just kind of just doing it and hoping it hits. Like, you shouldn't be hoping stuff hits. You should be like, okay. I'm gonna run in, try to pin you down some somehow, get you to whiff something, and then start my pressure. And not like, boy, I sure hope you don't shield this thing I'm doing with nothing else going on on the screen. Like, that's not, that's not good. To me, that's not good. You know, I just feel like wasting resources and just doing moves to hope that they hit is not a good thing, especially something that can be shielded and get you killed. And that's something you definitely don't want. This doesn't even apply for Jaws. This applies for everybody. Because when people do it at like certain levels of play, and then they're like, man. They're like, man, this, you know, what was I supposed to do? It's like, no, you could have just not done anything. Like, your toolkit, this character's toolkit is insane. So it's like, oh, you have a bunch of moon, you have a bunch of, you know, moon drive left over? Just chill. Like, you're standing here, and like, I don't know, you, you pick, like, DP because you're like, okay, if it, actually, no, if it whips, you can't jump cancel. 
it's like, okay, I'm here. So what? So at this point, you could either do moon skill laser into EX laser to get space back, or you just like chill. Cause you don't do anything. You have a huge life lead. They have to they have to like clean hit you like three times. And so you said so they did low shield, which is like, I mean, you don't have to commit to low shield. But then you did a, no, a moon skill, you know, that has an overhead portion to it. So you're lucky that this was overhead. If this was a mid, you probably have issues. But uh, that's it. <clears throat> uh, there's something else in here. I think it was somewhere here, like the start. Yeah, like you just whiffed jump B. I don't know if that was your air dash or you were just hoping she would jump first, but you need to visually confirm the characters in the air first. Visually confirm that. Don't just jump and hope it'll hit. You have to visually confirm they're in the air and you're fighting for the space. So. Because I, I know, I think I know what you want to do. So you're like, okay, she's jumping. I'm retreating. I'm going to back dash. So you're like, she's going to jump and do charge jump C. So I'm going to meet her first and press jump B. She hasn't moved yet. Like when you committed to your jump, the first thing you have to be like, okay, did she jump already? Cool. Did she not jump? All right, cool. I can like, I can dictate the space in the air. I have orb. I have extra. I have two extra jumps. I have two air dashes. I'm I'm set. I'm Alco. I'm fucking chilling. But instead, you're like, I'm just gonna hit her when she does rising charge MC. That shit never comes. You die. What's the name? Uh, this shit. Yeah, this shit. This this I like. This is a huge personal graph of mine in any fighting game. You managed to jump out of the corner. You managed to jump on wake up. So that's like you being, that's either you're, you're assuming they're not going to meet you correctly or you just get out. Like you just get out. You're like, nope, I'm jumping, which a lot of people do. That's fine. So you jump once. I'm like, okay, you jump you up back. Cause you're like, I don't know if this is going to hit me. So I want to block while I'm jumping. That's fine. Your next jump, you do a, You do an immediate double jump. And I'm like, I'm like, please get out the corner. Please double jump forward out of the corner. You have a jump and you have jump and two air dashes left. So you get you have to block the jump bait. You jump again. That so this this tells me you jumped again. That's how I know you jumped again. So you use up all your jumps. Use up all three of your jumps. You have two air dashes left, but this clips you. I don't know. I guess you were trying to like air dash or something. I don't know what happened. But that's my biggest gripe is if you make it this far, your next step is just air dash forward, super jump forward. One of those two. I don't care what it is. It's like, there's no reason to keep yourself in the corner like this when characters have tools to chase you while you, like, hover directly above them. Uh, there was something else here. There's nothing inherently wrong with this decision. So, like, I can't say shielding here is wrong because you got hit. Because that's another thing. It's like, what if the shield worked? If the shield worked, you still have to, like, you know, guess the right option after. It's just that you either commit to hold. Well, the thing is, you also have to be careful because you don't have a lot of moon gauge. You have, like, two slices left. So you can only hold for a couple frames. Not that long. So I don't know if you were paying attention to this, but you probably did tap here because you're assuming jump C is coming. You need to actually look at the character. You have to look or you have to, like, long commit to holding shield. Because a lot of people will double jump to bait another option and then do they jump in. So if you hold shield, you're okay sometimes to shield it, and then you initiate the the uh, shield RPS. But you did tap there, so you got punished. You don't die here, right? No, you die in the sequence. Yeah, yeah. all right, that's fine. And then yeah, okay, this is what I was talking about too. So round start, you get space. She can't catch you from here. Orb, set up, set up some sort of orb. So, like, your goal should be making it hard for them to approach you unless you throw yourself at them. That's that's it. Like, that's the biggest thing about Alco. It's she has the best movement in the game. She has ways to alter movement with orbs and lasers, and it's, like, it's super hard to catch her. So by putting nothing here, you're just making it easy for them to, like, fly at you. Yeah. And then you put yourself in the harm's way, and you jump beat in connect again because you wanted to do this. You wanted to do the same thing as before as, oh, they're going to do charge MC. I'm going to meet them in the air before. But, you know, the last time you got punished because you did too early, this time you did too late. So now you got you put yourself directly near jump B, jump C range. And then you didn't block this. I don't know why. You're probably trying to jump. You tech here. Jump C hits. That's fine. 
Oh, set up, save jump. You'll, you'll learn more setups along the way. You bait the low shield, that's fine. Dun dun. Ah. Hi. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hi. Same setup. You should learn, especially for like people who you know who like to heat on defense. It's 2A, 2A plus D for immediate heat. So if they if they do tap A B C, you do 2A. If your 2A whiffs because of the heat startup, you do stand shield. You shield it. You get a punish. If you do held shield, that's where you lose on held shield. I uh, held the heat. You lose on that. But you will learn how to structure your offense to fight that later. Doing while holding the orb. Oh, that that you have to practice. That you actually have to practice. Uh, it might be easier with the C button. Well, since you're on stick, I don't know how you would do that. Uh, you ha yeah, you would have to practice that because I'm thinking about it in my own head right now. I set an orb. I wanted to do two A two A D, so I have to use my index and my pinky. Index and pinky. Unless you could do two A and then press two A plus D. Actually, you might be able to do that. Like instead of pressing the thrower back door, you might be able to get away with pressing the A plus the D button at the same time. Like you might have to practice that, but that's that's separate. That's separate. Mm, chasing. Oh yeah, you're chasing still. Like, I hit a heat. Your your goal should be to not put anything on the screen that she can react to and hit with Avalon. But this person hasn't shown the willingness to do Avalon because you haven't put anything on the screen. But that's like a reminder. It's like you fight Saber. If they have heat, don't throw projectiles because Avalon might kill you. All right, Excalibur. All right, you run out. You run it out. You don't want to engage. That's fine. Oh yeah, I, I did want to talk about this one thing. So you say you're having trouble with Saber Charge MC? Why are you here? Like, you should not be here if you're having tr problems with like one of her best uh, tools. Like, if you want to fight the tool, you don't engage with it. You either don't engage or you put like an orb somewhere here. So it's either you you put orb, like this, this 2A should be an orb set, and then you just chill. You set out held orb, and then you do proximity orb somewhere. I don't care which one. You do want, you do, you put an orb on the screen somewhere here. Otherwise, you don't chill here. You chill here, or you just like hover up here. One of those two. Because guess what? Yeah, dive. dive. Dive comes through. So if you were still sitting down here, you'd be blocking dive. So you retreat. That's fine. You still do that, by the way. You still do just do moon skill laser for no reason. Because you're like, I hope it hits. When it's like, no, you should probably be doing like B laser or putting out an orb. One of those two things. You try to put out... I think you tried to do laser and you got clipped there because you're a little bit too slow. Oh, that was the other thing I talked about before, too. Yeah. I think it was, it was probably jump start up. Nah, you could block. Nah, I'm pretty sure you could block because I don't see the indication for jump. Yeah. So you're, you're, you've already committed to the jump here. You need to be holding back. Like, if you're jumping and Saber is, like, directly below you, you're like, mm, jump A might hit me. You need to be holding back. Because a lot of characters in this game have a move that reach s slightly above them. Like, barely above them, or at, like, a 45 degree angle above them. It's like, okay, I, I gotta, like, block if I'm not gonna be aggressive. So you need to be holding back. Because you might be jumping and going back to neutral without realizing it. You need to, like, you also need to look at your inputs sometimes. If you're like, why did I hit me? Go back to here, look at your replay, and then toggle your input history to see what's happening at those moments. So that way you know if your inputs are clean or not. Uh, what else happened here? You hit heats, that's fine. You fly in, you get a hit. Better combo next time. Air dash throw. You don't set an orb. You need to learn... Alright, with no orbs out, you should always be doing this. Oh, it's the end of the round, my opponent's about to die. I'm gonna do... Well, you did jump A 2A, but you can do 2A, 2A, D. It'll still work. I'm pretty sure it still works. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it still works. You just need to practice that later, too. It's super simple. You did it again, by the way. You don't know any orb setups, Miss Green? Uh, you'll probably... You'll learn that later. Again, you'll have to watch Taka. You super jump here... You jump You jump A way too early. He ha has not jumped. Just chill in there. Bop. So you, you need to also recognize that as well. It's like, why am I flying at her for if I have a life lead? Oh yeah, and you and you and this and this and this, this is also something that people sometimes get away with doing moon drive moon skill and wake up, but the the vast majority of 
people who have been playing for a while know to force this. It's like, did you do Moon Drive? I'm mashing 2A. Do you have a DP? I'll just take the gamble, I guess. Because I can't let you get away with doing a Moon Skill like this, because this happens, and this should always kill you. You should be dead from here. Who don't know to counter Moon Drive that? I... I know what you mean in terms of like people aren't killing you for it, but you need to learn that that's a still that's still a bad habit. Like, just because uh, where is it? Just because nobody's killing you for this now. When you start playing people who do kill you for this, you're gonna have a, so much of a harder time on defense. They're gonna bait up that moon drive. They're gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna either do nothing or force the clash on your moon skill, and they're always gonna kill you. Like, like this instance here, you should be dead. You should have lost this round. But they dropped the confirm. Like, you should be dead, hundred percent. And you still do this, by the way. You did, you did this moon skill laser like point blank. It's like, that's like. Also, you weren't paying attention to your meter because, like, you barely got this fucking bar down here. I looked at your meter on the bottom left the first time you did this, and I was like, I was like, oh, you're just doing moon skill to get him off you. But the second you got the meter, you cranked out the ex. I was like, holy shit, how'd you know you were getting that? You thought you can whip punish it? Uh. What happened with the... Oh, this again. Yeah, you almost died. Like, if that was charged MC on the way down, you would have died. Because you, you still, you're in this range versus Saber that you don't need to be in. Yeah. Right here. Like, did Saber get into the air? I, like, I'm, I'm leaving. I don't need to be here. I'm leaving. Like, I will backdash. If I see dive coming, I'm going to, like, air block the dive and try to retreat. But I, I'm not fucking with that versus this character. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm out. I'm gone. 